I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes welcoming you to our Innovation Gallery Walk. We're here to find a giant problem, and how can we go solve it? And it's caused us to reimagine and reinvent every single thing we're doing. With products that have now been built for a mobile first, mobile only world. We can make these connections live and real and make things so automatic, so organic that you don't even notice the technology. And that's what we're hoping to do, is take the work and just make it melt away. talk about the open platform. Moving QuickBooks from a product into a platform. We want our customers to be able to take advantage of all the data that they have on their business and by enabling third parties to leverage that data to help serve them better. We at Intuit have a thousand engineers working on solving those problems and then the U.S. alone there's a million engineers working on that. So we want to leverage that power and to make it really a great way for small businesses to interact, run, grow their business. Inside QuickBooks, there is a place for our customers to manage their customers, okay? but we also know that there are apps out there that are built specifically to manage customers, one of them being, for example, Salesforce.com. So Salesforce is integrated straight into QuickBooks Online, where it's sharing information about the customer from a uh, customer account standpoint, but also from a financial accounting standpoint. Uh, here's a particular customer, Robin Barkowski, for example. The invoice history for this particular customer in terms of how much uh, we've invoiced her and how much she's paid. So that information would be very useful for a salesperson who's about to visit Robin at her, at her site. Like, uh, what is her payment history and, and what is uh, the outstanding invoice for her. So one of the things that we do is share that information with Salesforce. So if you look up Robin Barkowski inside the Salesforce account, there's contact information for her. There's also things like the open balance and where her address is and how to contact her and such. It's all essentially looking at uh, QuickBooks as the source of data for a lot of that function. The new version is incredibly simple. We've made it much, much easier to use. We're actually leveraging all the data that we have in QuickBooks Online to make setup nearly automatic. We didn't simplify by removing functionality. We simplified with great design. We also turned it into a truly open ecosystem. And so not only can you do the traditional QuickBooks Online tasks, you can also do payroll, you can also do payments, and it feels integrated. And finally, we made it work great on mobile. The entire product now works on your tablet, so you can take QuickBooks Online wherever you need to go. So I'm going to show you how we set up QuickBooks Online for a brand new user that just signed up. So you might remember in the past with QuickBooks, you might have had to answer 40 questions about your business, some of which might have actually been fairly hard to answer. And that's actually kind of standard in the accounting industry today. And so what we're doing here is we're just asking you a few simple questions, and then we're going out and actually looking at all 500,000 plus paying QuickBooks Online subscribers. And we're looking for businesses that are similar to yours. And so you can see us doing the scan in real time here. And I'm a management consultancy in this case, and so we're gonna find the other management consulting firms. And then we're actually gonna narrow that list down to the ones that are actually in your area. And so once we've got that similar business, you know, it looks like there's about 3,200 of them in our system, we're actually gonna look at what they're doing in the product and then customize QuickBooks Online so it works great for your business. What we have here is a representation of Intuit's small business and consumer ecosystem. And it's a representation of the commerce graph or the commerce relationships within the small business and consumer ecosystem. We're familiar with social ecosystems and social networks and social graphs. This is one that's about commerce. Unlike at Facebook when I can show you people you may know and you can say I want to make that friend, what we're doing is we're helping facilitate commerce. So when we connect two businesses together, each of them will make money. We call it big data for the little guy. We've created a tool here that allows us to visualize the data from our consumer and small business ecosystem. So here we're showing you a company called Eat Club. They're in Palo Alto. They do catering for businesses. They'll get food from a restaurant and serve it for you. And we're looking at all the vendors and customers of that business. So a Q logo, that means that they use QuickBooks. The blue V indicates that they have a vendor relationship with this company. And a C means that they're a customer of this company. So we can click around and see that, for example, they've worked with Crystal Springs Catering, which is another business in Redwood City. Uh, they use reputation.com to manage their reputation online. 
And this allows us to understand eClub and how they're connected to different vendors. And then we can make recommendations to other catering companies in the area and say, eClub is connected to reputation.com. Perhaps you might want to use reputation.com for your business. We think that we can use this data directly to help create new connections between small businesses who are looking for new vendors and new customers, both of which are very hard to find that you can trust. We think that we can use this data to help them grow their businesses and find trusted vendors uh, for their businesses. TurboTax Answer Exchange is an offering that we built to help people understand how the Affordable Care Act affects them and their families. We found when the law was passed that there are a lot of small businesses and consumers who just don't understand how the law affects them. So what we built is something that allows them to understand for their very specific situation what their options are, what's the smartest choices for them to make, and how to go about taking those actions. I'll give you an example of how somebody who doesn't yet have health insurance might use this. So the upper portion here is a little bit of what we call a guide that helps people put in some information about their specific situation and it personalizes a recommendation to their particular family. So in this case I've put in the case of somebody who is single, 25 years old, lives in New York and makes $24,000 a year. Based on that information, it can tell us that they can get insurance for $265 a month, but they're actually eligible for financial aid that will help take that cost down to $91 a month. It also gives them an idea of the alternative of taking a penalty for not getting insurance and make that trade-off to decide which is better for them. And then down below what we've got is a community portion of this that allows people to say, well, Okay, that's helpful, but what I need to know is about my very specific situation. So perhaps I have diabetes, or perhaps I have a non-traditional family situation. I want to be able to find out how the law really affects somebody in exactly my situation. And by putting your question in here, people can find other people who have asked similar questions or get an answer back, usually within an hour or so, from healthcare experts or TurboTax employees. We're a company that really prides ourselves on being a premier innovative growth company. So if you have an idea for a business, Intuit gives you time to work on it and develop it. But we're trying to move away from that mode of where you're pitching ideas and trying to, to win the popularity contest and instead say, build it, build a minimum viable product, and then launch it. And Intuit Labs is the way in which you do that. Intuit, we say all, all employees are innovators. And we put our money where our mouth is because we train people on our core capabilities. And everybody's trained on customer-driven innovation. Everybody's trained on design for delight. You come out of college or you've been working a job and you want to be a better entrepreneur. And two, it's a place where you can actually develop those skills but by actually doing them and practicing them. One of our success stories is SparkRent. SparkRent is a product that helps tenants pay landlords electronically. They're trying to solve the problem that people are still paying by checks which is painful for the tenant, it's painful for the landlord, but they came up with a way in which that happens all electronically and takes away the pain. SparkRent started as an unstructured time project. People were working, again, in their passion time on this project. They got to launch, they got to acquire customers, and that is actually part of our method at Intuit. We say, when you build a new application, the thing we want you to focus on is what we call the love metrics. Have you found an important problem, and are you solving it well? SparkRent is the super easy way for small landlords to take a payment. And basically the problem we're solving for is at the end of every month, their mailboxes are flooded with checks. And most of these landlords actually have mortgages that they have to pay on their rental properties. And with SparkRent, you can put it on autopilot. So at the end of every month, you don't have to do anything. So I'm a landlord uh, and wanted to see uh, if my tenant has paid the rent. First thing that I see is the rent status today. So today is October 9th, um, and my tenant, Ajay Tripathi, hasn't paid the rent. It's still it's due on um, October the 10th. He has the dashboard that gives me all the information about my tenant. So his contact information, where, what is the due date, what is the late fee, the rental term conditions. And I can send a reminder to him. So this is pretty much a, what, a very simple interface for the landlord to see uh, what's going on with the rent status at any time. And as a tenant, 
I get an email. The email contains a link to my pay page. I can click this button, get onto my invoice page, enter my bank information, and I have the option of saving my bank account information for future payments, or I can go on and turn on automatic payments. We'll keep it simple, just make a payment, and the payment is done. And on the landlord side, a payment is in progress. So when I click on this, it also shows when the tenant has authorized payment from the bank account. QuickBooks Online Accountant enables the accountant to work with their small business clients and actually service them. It is a layer of tools on top of QuickBooks Online, and it is the gateway to their client's data. When they see their client's company, they'll see everything that their client sees plus more. They'll get additional time-saving tools that are just for accountants. Working in the cloud allows you as an accountant to save a lot of time and actually be more efficient. This gives you the additional tools to service those small business clients that also want to work in the cloud. One of my favorite features, which is available exclusively to accountants, is reclassify transactions. What it allows me to do is actually correctly categorize my client's expenses. So when I actually click on office expenses, what I see is that my client actually has some items that are in meals and entertainment. And so I'm just going to keep the ones that uh, are actually office expenses. I'm going to click at the bottom here, and I'm going to recategorize this to meals and expenses. And you can see with just a few letters, it allows me to select the right category and recategorize them. And if I go to meals and expenses, you'll see they've all been correctly categorized. Snap Payroll is the easiest way for new employers to pay their employees with confidence. There are small employers that uh, have to pay employees, but they can't really afford to pay for a payroll solution. So instead, they'll use spreadsheets, pen and paper, and it's a really big hassle for them to, to do this and to do it correctly. But we knew that because their businesses had such simple payroll needs that we could try to find a way that we could provide something for free. We focus on making it as easy as possible to jump right in, and in just a few minutes, you can set up your employee and calculate a paycheck for them that is accurate. We've designed Snap Payroll to be super easy to jump right in and set up an employee and calculate that paycheck for the first time. So you simply just choose your state. We'll go here to uh, New York, which is where we're at today. We give you an overview of the taxes that are applicable. And you jump in, and there's two steps. You just add the employee, and then you pay them. So we go through to add employee, We'll let the employer know there's some forms that they need their employees to fill out, and they can actually access those forms from here. I'm going to go in and just enter a name. Uh, we ask you some information based on the local taxes, so we're going to say that the employee lives in New York City. And then you will just copy the information over that the employee's already filled out on those forms. So there's, there's one form for the federal, there's also one form for the state. And that's all it takes to set up. Now you're actually ready to pay your employee. So we can jump in here. And we just ask you the basic information that's needed here. So how many hours do they work? What's their pay rate? And when did they work? Defaults to the last week. That looks good to me. At this point, we're ready to calculate a check. I'm going to go hit Calculate. And here we're using the latest tax rates um, based on what we have online. And it tells you not only here's the amount that you need to pay your employee, but you can also see the breakdown of what went into that. What are the taxes that came out of that paycheck? So it's really everything the employer needs to, to pay their employee with confidence and know that they're holding the right amount of taxes. Today, 60 million people file a simple return. Snap tax is designed for those people who file a simple return because today, those people generally spend about $200 to have their tax return done. With Snap Tax, you can take a snapshot of your W-2 and within 10 minutes, you're done. What I want to show you is how easy it is to take a photo of your W-2 and this is what really convinces people Snap Tax is perfect for them. So all I do is I line the camera up with a W-2, snap a photo, Snap Tax immediately being scanning and then extracting all the data from each field on the form, puts it on a tax form. This is a true convincing element of snap tax. And there it is. You can see your result right on screen, all within about 15 seconds there.
it's actually Google Glass, and there are actually um, a full computer inside here. It's running Android. It's pretty much a cell phone on your head. And then we're actually tying Google Glass to Go Payment so that you can make a payment with your glass with just the tap of the side of the head. So this is a modified demo of the Go Payments point of sale app. And we're going to use it to actually interact with Google Glass to make a payment directly from my glass. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in on the iPad, which is my point of sale device. And I'm going to ring up the order for my customer. They had three pies. I'm going to check them out. I'm going to ask the customer, who would be me wearing the glasses, how would you like to pay for that? And I would say, I'd like to pay th for that with my Google Glass. So I'm going to go to my Google Glass application, which you can see exactly what I'm seeing on my Google Glass. I'm going to launch my payment app, which we call Glass Pay. And then I'm going to tap that. Well, first I'm going to hit the magic button because I want to pay with magic. And it generates a QR code that represents my transaction. Then when I want to pay for it, I simply tap on my glass. I scan in the QR code. And then on my glass, I see the actual payment receipt. If I accept the payment that matches what's on the point of sale device, I simply tap it and say accept payment. And there you can see on the Google Glass that it's been paid and the point of sale has been updated and the transaction is completed.